Hey everyone, Nejihuga73 here. In the last episode, we kicked uh, Very Naughty's ass. And, um, yeah, first boss of the game. Kind of easy. So now it's time to enter Monkey Mines and do the first level, Winky's Walkway. I wonder why it's called Winky's Walkway. Anyway, this is the first appearance of the Flying Neckies. If you jump off of that guy, you can collect the letter K. Jump off that guy. Now these two, if you jump off of one of them, you can bounce up there. And hey, it's our friend Winky. He's got awesome legs. At least I think he's a he. And look at that, the continue barrel already. For some reason, the uh, bouncing on the enemy's head thing is glitching out. So anyway, that's the only bonus area in this level where you can collect a bunch of bananas and the letter N. So it's funny because when you're when you're uh, on Winky and you just sit there, he sings and makes the sound, the exact same sound that, um, oh my god, that damn zinger. That was sad. Oh yeah, when you die, you can't have, like, you lose your animal buddy, too. So, but, um, if you've gone into a bonus area and you die, it still counts as you went in there, so, not to worry. In the Game Boy Advance port, there's a lot of, lot more hidden stuff. Oh, I didn't do that correctly, so you know what? Suicide! Yeah, I'm gonna do that a lot. Depending on the level. If I miss something in a level, I might just commit suicide so that I can try it again. I like that they go, ow! So yeah, if you do that, oh wait, no, this isn't the spot. That zinger up there is guarding an espresso token. You want to jump off the necky when he's all the way in, the, like when he's the highest he can go. That way you can collect the letter G. And there's the exit. All right, level complete. Now this is the level that I hated because it sucks. So first, I'm going to show you what I would always do. I think you need to do, be uh, Diddy so that you can jump over that. And there's a barrel down there, which is the warp barrel. And um, basically all you got to do is jump off that last guy there, jump over that last guy there, and it's all done. But that would make the video too short, so let's do it the real way. And hopefully I won't die as much as I did when I... Did a practice run. You use the B button to jump. Which, jumping in a minecart doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But it's a video game and they often don't make sense. So as you can see, you have to jump so that you don't fall to your doom. Not much else to say. Oh, there's the letter O. Um, you can try for that banana bunch if you're feeling lucky. Oh my god, that was a fail. You can try for that banana bunch if you're feeling lucky, but it's kind of hard to get, so... Because you, like, have to jump at the last second. And you have only, inst only like, an instant before that jump turns... Go well, before that jump goes from missing the banana bunch to falling your doom. So, uh... Minecart Madness. This isn't the only minecart level, um... In the other minecart level, you actually jump out of the minecart, and that's where I fucked up last time. There's a continue barrel. And oh no, it's an overturned minecart! You gotta jump over that, or else you it will cost you an eight. You know what time it is? Suicide time! You gotta jump kind of early if you want to get the letter in. Okay, so let's see if I can do this right. Okay. Uh, 
There. Now watch me screw up somewhere else. The end segment can be really tough. Whoa, shit. You guys! Just stop it. It's uh, this next coming up portion that I died about 10 billion times on when I was playing it on the Game Boy Color. I mean, Advance. This part there. Or that part there also. Anyway, that's the proper way to do Minecart Carnage. So, thanks for watching, and in the next episode, we're going to do Bouncy Bonanza. So, hope to see you there.